This is VOA News via remote. I'm Tommy McNeil. Chinese state media now say that uh, Thursday editorials that the move by the United States government to shut down China's consulate in Houston, Texas, is an attempt to blame Beijing for American failures ahead of presidential elections in November. The United States said Wednesday it had given China 72 hours to close the consulate to protect American intellectual property and Americans' private information. The decision marked a dramatic escalation of tensions between the world's two biggest economies amid fresh accusations of Chinese espionage in the United States and calls by U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo for a new global coalition against Beijing. According to U.S. court filings, the Federal Bureau of Investigation is also alleging that a Chinese researcher accused of visa fraud and concealing ties to the military is now holed up in Chinese, China's consulate in San Francisco. The filing showed other Chinese researchers at U.S. universities have also been arrested for visa fraud. U.S. President Donald Trump says he will send federal agents into the cities of Chicago and Albuquerque to help combat rising crime as he runs for re-election under a law and order mantle. Mr. Trump is uh, uh, saying painting some Democratic-led cities uh, is out of control. The decision to dispatch federal agents to American cities is playing out in American politics as the country uh, quickly approaches election day just four months away. Globally, there are more than 621,000 deaths from COVID-19, more than 143,000 of those in the United States. Confirmed infections exceed 15 million, with the United States looking at about 4 million of them. At Brazil's more than 2.2 uh, 2 million uh, in uh, Two countries hold well more than a third of the world's infections. This is VOA News. Labs across the United States are buckling under a surge of coronavirus tests, creating long processing delays that experts say are undercutting the pandemic response. The bottlenecks are creating problems for workers kept off the job while they wait for results, nursing homes struggling to keep the virus out, and for labs themselves, some labs are taking weeks to return COVID-19 results, exacerbating fears that people without symptoms could be spreading the virus if they do not isolate while they wait. Southwest Airlines will soon test thermal cameras to spot travelers who are running a fever, a symptom of COVID-19. The test will start in early August at Dallas Love Field and run on to, to three months. City and airline officials said uh, Wednesday that in the first phase of that test, Temperature readings will not be tied to individuals. Instead, the idea is to evaluate the cameras, where they should be placed, and how thermal screening could affect the flow of traffic at security checkpoints. Southwest says it will decide later on additional testing. There have been U.S. presidents who failed to take aggressive action to end racism or supported policies that further oppress black Americans. In fact, many presidents, including the nation's first George Washington, owned slaves. Still, U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, former U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, is labeling U.S. President uh, Donald Trump the country's first racist president. The presumptive Democratic presidential nominee's comment came Wednesday in response to a questioner mentioning the president referring to the coronavirus as the China virus. Uh, Biden said that we've had races, they've existed, they've tried to get elected president. He is the first one that has. Mr. Trump responded by saying that he'd done more for black Americans and any other president, with the possible exception of Abraham Lincoln. A scandal involving the abduction and exploitation of young children in a colonial Mexican city popular with tourists widened Wednesday when prosecutors released additional evidence that an adult apparently used other children to help kidnap a missing two-year-old boy. The search for Dylan Esau Gomez Perez led prosecutors in southern Chiapas state on the Guatemalan border to a house in San Cristobal de las Casas, where 23 abducted children were being kept in deplorable conditions and forced to sell trinkets and hand -cut handicrafts in the street. The U.S. National Hurricane Center is keeping a watchful eye on Tropical Storm Gonzalo. According to the NHC, the storm that's churning over the Atlantic east of the southern Windward Islands could strengthen into a hurricane Thursday. More at VOAnews.com. By remote, I'm Tommy McNeil. VOA News.